How is Holo up 300% right now? And how did I know this? And how was I able to predict it and text it out three different times, each one for over a 100% move from that text that you see on the left-hand side of the screen? Am I the new stock god? And how can you get these texts and learn this strategy for yourself? We're going to cover all of this and so much more in today's episode. So I hope you go ahead and smash that like button early on for the algorithm. And I'm just going to jump right into what is going up with Holo right now. Holo, you can see on this text message on the left-hand side at 7.09 a.m. this morning, I was texting out that I was looking for the break of 235 on Holo. That is represented by this yellow vertical line right here and this yellow horizontal line right here. At 7.10 a.m., I was looking for the break of 230. So how we play this breakout strategy is we look for it to break above those prices. And when it does, if it confirms a breakout, we take entry and we take profit. And we can play the same stock over and over again, as you see, we successfully did with Holo. So right here was the first level we were playing today. This is where we were taking our entry. And if you got in at that entry and you held all the way to about now, you could be up about 323% in your position. But I'm going to be completely honest with you. We didn't predict a 300% move and we never hold in hope hoping that we get 300 percent on any one stock as day traders we're disciplined and although i have a high track record of identifying stocks that do end up running hundreds of percent past my breakout levels we don't hold and hope for those 100% gains. Rather, we take smaller percentage gains on these ones that we think are likely for big significant runs. If you are constantly holding and hoping for a 300% return on investment, you're gonna probably fail about 99% of your trades. There's not that many stocks that actually run 300% in the market. Like right now, for example, Holo's up 400% since the beginning of this morning, and it is the number one stock in the entire stock market moving. There there are over 10,000 companies um, listed on all of the public exchanges being the NASDAQ, the OTC markets, and the New York Stock Exchange, over 10,000 companies. And only two of those 10,000 companies are over 100% in the market right now. SMX, which I also texted to you this morning, by the way, and Holo. But if that's only two out of 10,000 stocks, that means you have like a 99.9% .9 chance of the stock not running more than 100%. So although this one's up 400% and up over 300% from the very first text message I sent this morning, that's not the strategy we're looking for here. We are granted, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you the exact strategy of how we played it out. We instead were looking for smaller percentage gains. Maybe it's only 20% at a time. You load, you take a 20% profit, and then you can play the stock again. If your setup comes into fruition, you take 20% again, take 20% again. And we would much rather take those smaller chunks of these significant moves regularly and consistently rather than holding and hoping for 300%. Because again, if you're always hoping for more than 100% return on investment, with especially when it comes to day trading, you're gonna fail 99% of the time. Rather though, if I have a good track record of identifying these stocks that do go hundreds of percent and I'm always taking profit at 20%, not the hundreds, then I can be uh, much more accurate. Maybe my success rate can come to 60%, 80%, 90%. The smaller profit you're locking in, the more likely it is you can accurately take those profits consistently and regularly. So let's get into how I play this strategy here and how we do it every single morning. So right here, it broke out. We were looking for the breakout of 2.30 this morning. That was the pre-market high identified by this line right here. You can see we kept getting rejected. And once it broke, it was good for a big run. And then over here at about 8.45, you can, at 8.47, it was received by everybody's cell phone. Um, we were looking for the break of 3.30. And this is exactly what happened. After it closed a candle right here and it opened a candle right here, we're looking to enter on that second candle. We're looking for confirmation, which is a five minute candle close Closing, and the next five minute candle opening above the breakout level. But let's be a little more specific because this is where we would have loaded on that first breakout. This is where we would have loaded on the second breakout. And in either one of these cases, you'd be up hundreds of percent. That first breakout, you could have got 322%. This second breakout, you could have got 193%. That's assuming you bought at the top and you, or you bought at the bottom and you sold at the top. Most people didn't do that. And I'm gonna teach you what most people did and how they were able to log um, thousands of dollars this morning. We had one member who logged a $3,500 trade on Holo and he didn't get 300% and he still made $3,500. More on that in a minute. I'll teach you on this most recent breakout right here. So at 9.15 a.m., we texted out and we were talking about it in our live stream this morning. If you guys are skipping these live streams, you're literally missing out on massive free value in our morning live streams. But that's besides the point. 
So we texted out, we were looking for the breakout of $4. And for a little while there, it didn't break out, but eventually it did break out. And I'll zoom in here and I'm gonna teach you the breakout strategy. So what we do when we're looking for one of these stocks to play, we're gonna draw this yellow box about 10% past the uh, breakout zone. So right here, you can see this box I'm drawing on screen represents a move about 10% past $4 which would be our loading opportunity. I'm gonna go ahead and make that box yellow and I'm gonna make this box disappear for you to make it clear. Um, and I'll go ahead and get rid of this box too to make it even more clear for you so we can see what we're working with here. So on Weeble, by the way, you can come up here and you can click this little rectangle icon. You can do this drop down. you can draw all this stuff, but I, I like to draw the rectangles, it does the math for you. I always draw my stop loss box as well just in case the trade doesn't go my way and sometimes it doesn't, no strategies 100%. Um, I'm gonna draw that stop loss zone 5% beneath the breakout and I always make that one red to uh, signify to me. That's my worst case scenario. I'm gonna cut my losses 5% under the breakout, worst case scenario. And then I'm always gonna draw my uh, take profit zone about 20% past the breakout level. So about right there, that's 20% past the breakout. Now, once this stock, uh, right here's a five minute candle, once it closed in this yellow zone and this next one opened in the yellow zone, that told me this trade was good for confirmation and it was good to enter. And I look to enter in the yellow zone, preferably towards the bottom of it, but um, at the max all load is the very top of that yellow zone. If it breaks out above the yellow zone, I don't load, load it and I look for the next play or the next entry zone. So I'm load somewhere within this yellow box and then I sell and take profits somewhere within this green box. In this scenario, I could have logged a 20% trade very, very easily, not holding and hoping for hundreds of percent gains on it, just taking 20% because I knew if it broke this level, it was likely to explode much higher but you never know exactly where the top is. I don't know where the top is. Nobody else knows where the top is. Nobody knows if a stock's gonna run 400% in a day. That's just uh, um, lucky if you, if you can call it. Now, with us, it's not necessarily luck because we're just looking to take smaller pieces of these big pies that we've identified. And you can see time and time again on this channel, and you can see right here, I'm showing you the text message that I sent this morning. You can see the stock playing out in real time. But anyways, I, I digress here. That's how we would have played this every single time. So that's three different times you could have taken 20% profit, 20, 20, 20, that would have only been 60%. But again, we're not holding and hoping for hundreds of percent. But then every time you do it, every time it marks a new high, we just mark a line where that is. In this one's case, the new high is the top of the body of these candles right here. That would have been 525. So we took our 20% here at $4. The next level we would have played was about 525 right here. But honestly, you have one, two, three, four, five wicks that went above 525. I probably would have just went ahead and put this one about right here at about 540. And that would have been the next breakout I was looking for because that's the resistance that I see all these wicks hitting and coming down to. So that's the next high that we identified and it pulled back from. So the next high I wanna see it break would be 541 and you just draw your plan out on paper again. Now this one broke so high, I probably wouldn't have taken this trade here at 543 because it closed and opened 22% higher. That's already the top of my take profit zone right there. But I would have been trying to load half of that. I would have wanted that breakout of 543-ish. I would have wanted that breakout to occur right here within this yellow box, but it didn't. It occurred too high. So in that one's case, I probably wouldn't have taken that trade. But right here, you see another pullback. This could have been another opportunity to play it. That pullback right there at 774, or that's really close to eight, and you had those two wicks there. Maybe you just play the breakout of eight. In either one of those cases, you could have played that breakout and then you just be looking the same thing. You just keep redrawing this strategy over and over and over again. Um, and then the only other uh, strategy that you could use on all these stocks then is to just quickly scalp it. I don't think it's smart to wait for a 400% return on investment in most cases, but if you identify a stock like this that has crazy volatility and it has the price action and it's running like crazy, you can absolutely look to just take a small few percentage on it. You see it's, it's got green candle, green boner candle after green boner candle. You can look to just scalp a few percent, get in, get out, get in, get out, get in, get out. You can do that over and over again. Um, these are a couple of the different strategies we teach in our community. And then the other thing we look to do on all of these stocks as well is we look to play a bounce off of some of the stronger EMAs or the VWAP. So like right here, you can see we were getting rejected right around $10. We're experiencing a little bit of a pullback right here. Currently, as I film this, the next breakout would be about $9.70 to about $10. $9.70 is too close to $10. I'm going to go ahead and expect psychological resistance at $10. So I'm going to play the next breakout of $10 on HOLO. 
So I would just draw a little yellow line there to symbolize that. You could go ahead and draw your trading plan there. So I would wanna load somewhere within 10% right here. Um, and this is how quickly you can draw this trading plan for you too. And then it's, it's a visual for you on screen. So within, what's that, 15 seconds right there, I was able to draw my trading plan and now it's visualized on screen for me. So if these candles come up here, I know exactly what I'm doing in real time. But then the only other strategy you can do is now that you see the pullback is coming, we could look to play a bounce off of the VWAP, which is this red line for me right here, or bounce off of maybe some of these stronger EMAs, like this, this darker red line right here is my 21 EMA. If it comes down here, we get a little bit of a bounce. That could be a good opportunity if it bounces off this 21 EMA, or if it comes down and it bounces off the VWAP. If I can get, a, I'm going to play it very similarly as the breakout strategy. I want a, a confirmation of it bouncing off of one of these EMAs, and then I can look to play it that way as, as well. Those would be the only ways I play Holo. And the fundamental analysis on Holo really doesn't matter. I don't even know what this company um, is named other than right here, MicroCloud Hologram. That's the most I knew about this company. I did go ahead and pull up a little bit of DD for you. It looks like they're running off of news that they announced plans to join the Communication Industry Association. Whatever the hell that means. I'm gonna be honest, I don't care what that means. With playing the breakout strategy specifically, we don't look at fundamentals. This is technical analysis alone, and this is some of the easiest TA you could possibly do. You see, I barely mentioned the VWAP. I barely mentioned EMAs. I didn't talk about RSI or the Statisticats or the Bollinger Bands or uh, any of this complicated strategies. I'm not doing the YMCA on the chart. I'm just doing easy technical analysis of support and resistance and then drawing um, small rectangular boxes representing 10%, uh, 20%, 5%. That's how easy this strategy is. And that's why we teach this to beginners before any other strategy. We like to get your feet wet in the market and get you some, logging some wins easy and regularly and consistently to make you profitable traders. And once you get the hang of an easy strategy like this, we like to transition people over into some more technical strategies where we're teaching you some more VWAP, Bollinger Bands, and uh, Fibonacci retracements. We'll teach you some more complicated strategies like that so you have more tools in your tool belt and you can trade on more days. We'll also teach you how to short. And once we get kind of the basics out of the way, a natural course we like to steer, uh, steer people to is options. We find a lot of people, once they learn and master options, they find much more consistency and much more profits regularly playing options than they do just playing these highly volatile penny stocks. I mean, look, look at this, uh, how, the volatility on this one, if I can find my mouse here. Like this one candle right here represented a move of 40%. This is extreme gut-wrenching volatility, especially if it goes 40% in the opposite direction of your trade, it can just make you want to vomit. So options, I think it can be a lot more consistent and you don't have to watch all these crazy volatile stocks. You can literally just play options on the QQQ or the SPY over and over and over again. And then those are the only indexes you ever have to watch. It's, it's really easy and consistent that way in our own personal opinion but options are slightly more complicated than penny stocks. So we like to get people a good fundamental basic knowledge of some easy strategies like this first. And if all of this made sense and you like this strategy and you'd love to receive text like this, texted straight to your phone every single day, then you've got to click the link in the top pinned comment or my description box and sign up right now 